First of all, amazing job on the film. I'm a huge G.I. Joe fan, Aww. Snake Eyes fan. <laughs> I'm right. all about <laughs> All about their Rashikage. Uh, now, G.I. Joe's been around for almost 40 years. Is it intimidating stepping into a franchise? It's already had two previous films and mm -hmm. has the history that it does for almost the past 40 years. I mean, absolutely, because um, I think we were all very aware of how, how beloved the, the universe is and how much you know, these characters mean to you know, a lot of people um, who grew up playing with these toys or like watching, grew up watching the cartoons and stuff. So it was definitely, um, um, there was a lot of pressure and it was a bit terrifying, but I think um, that really made us, you know, work extra hard to do justice to the universe. I like, I'm still playing with these toys and, and I, I love this franchise. <laughs> now, despite the character uh, generally having mysterious backgrounds, Snake Eyes or Snake Eyes' origin has been uh, frequently explored in other films, but mm -hmm. Akiko is completely unique to the story. Right. Uh, what was it like taking on a, a character with such deep ties to Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, Storm Shadow's past, but uh, that hasn't been previously revealed? I mean, again, it was terrifying and exciting in equal measures because, you know, obviously it was pretty um, scary to play this complete newbie among such iconic, beloved characters. Um, but at the same time, I had that freedom to really create this character from scratch and really kind of, you know, dive into the script and really knead and mold and shape the character together with the uh the hair and makeup team and the costume team. So it was a very collaborative process. And I really hope that, you know, um, G.I. Joe fans will like her. Absolutely. Look, one thing I absolutely love about this movie is that we absolutely we get to explore the brotherhood between Snake Eyes <laughs> and Storm Shadow, or I should say Tommy at this point in his G.I. Joe career. Uh, what can you tell me about Akiko's relationship with both Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow in the film? I mean, they have a very interesting dynamic because um, Akiko is very fiercely uh, loyal and protective of the clan. Um, so she butt heads with Tommy quite a lot over what they think is best for, for the clan. Um, with Snake Eyes, um, Akiko is very wary of this um, complete stranger that um, Tommy suddenly brought home. So she's very suspicious of him at first, but um, we learn in the film that she... Akiko actually was once an outsider, much like Snake Eyes, who was um, taken in by the, the clan and who was trained by the clan and you know, rose um, through the ranks to become the chief of security. So um, although Akiko is very um, wary of Snake Eyes, she's also um, kind of intrigued by him because they share that kind of um, you know, background. Sure. Um, so yeah. Now I love that the film dives into the Rashikage. It is my favorite part of the G.I. Joe franchise. Um, can, for those that don't know what the Arashikage is, can you can you talk to me or explain to, to me what the Arashikage is? So Arashikage is an ancient Japanese clan who um, has been like uh, protecting Japan in the shadows. Um, and they're the basically the, the, um, the peacekeepers who also work with the Joes on matters of global security. Absolutely. Look, I can't wait for everyone to see this movie. I can't wait to watch it again. I <laughs> loved it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I appreciate it. Thank you it. so much.